Now I'm going to show you how to make the largest of all of the leaves and for this you need not just one or two straws, you need three straws and what you have to do is you have to take one of the large straws and fold it roughly in half and what you're going to do is you're going to insert that into another into this straw so just give it a small pinch a little bit of a twist piece of solid tape to hold it in place and now you do the same again so you've got quite a large uh, structure here you just give it a little pinch push it inside and again a piece of solid tape just to hold it in place like that and now you take about halfway along here you do the same as we've done before you flatten it and turn it round on itself about the same sort of distance turn it round and this time if you look you pull that round like this just give it a bit of a, a manoeuvre now you've got quite a large leaf now if you were to leave that completely by itself with just a piece of paper there then that wouldn't be very strong at all well since it's a large leaf uh, it seems like a good idea to use uh, something larger with it again just a little piece of solid tape to hold those two pieces in place like that there's the outline of your leaf and what you would use is some of the plaited newspaper so you place that so now you have got quite a lot of coverage and quite a lot of adhesion between the paper and the um, and the leaf and to make it even stronger if you were to place one of the uh, perhaps a, a bendy straw and you could perhaps cut these to size and place them as they would be and they do give a very realistic look to the whole structure and you have them like that well what I've got is uh, a piece of paper I've decided not to use uh, some of the crepe paper I'm going to use some of the old lining paper and again it's uh, if you know, once it's been up on the wall it has a, a light of its own so I'll just hold that down like that as you can see what I've done is I've cut around the outside just roughly just roughly all the way around the outside you can see that that won't fold over this of course has the advantage that it won't stain so you take the structure of the leaf place that in there manoeuvre it around so that it fit and where you've placed cuts I'm going to have to move this along just a little bit further. I know some of it might go out of shot. I'm going to place that on top like that. For this, I am going to use... This, this is a little trick I learned in the commandos. If you're going to glue something, and it doesn't matter where it lies, you glue the opposite side of it. And you can turn it over, and you know it's fully in contact. Okay, again I'll just pull it down just a little bit, that. just to manoeuvre it. Just a very, very thin drizzle of the PVA, just on top of there, in and around. Like that. That's it, like so. Maybe a little bit on there. This is a large structure, so it is going to need quite a lot of support. I'll put one of the straws here to look like a vein. This is just so that the whole thing just doesn't collapse. And then perhaps another one on the side here. Like that. And then just one more small piece here. Just to give that some support. Just a small drizzle. Like that. And now fold it over. Push it down. Oops. Push it down. Top of the 
glue. Glue. Top. 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 Don't worry too much about the shape at the moment, because once you start putting the cellulose glue on top of this, it will become much more malleable. Over, just so you get the rough idea. Just turn it up like that. it. Just to get the, the rough idea of the shape. Like that. Further over. Over. Like that. Okay. So we've done most of the folding now, and now comes the, the sticky bit. Hold it down, and as soon you can probably see, as soon as that water-based cellulose paste hits it, it starts to keep its shape and hold itself in place. Hold it back. Any bits that seem to be sticking over, like that. Just like wallpapering a house, you can always pull bits up or push bits back down again. Yeah, that's that half done. Let's try this now. Now you will see that what's going to happen is quite a lot of the actual structure, the, the means by which we've made this leaf is exposed. Well, it just so happens that I'm going to rectify that in just a moment. Well, you know that the newspaper has held Now that everything has been covered in the water-based paste, it becomes quite uh, easy to manoeuvre, stays in place. The paste will seep through the paper and hold everything in place. And as I was just saying, you can see that the newspaper is well and truly attached, but there's quite a lot of the back of the, the actual mechanics of how we've made it still attached as well. So, if you take some of those pieces of the old lining paper, place them over the back to hold everything in place. Now, what I've found the best is to actually put some pieces in place so that they go across, like that. And then, you can become even fancier than that, because what you'll do is you'll have some radiate out so that they really will look like a botanical structure. You know that that's held in place, so now you put some pieces like this. The beauty of the crepe paper was that you could actually see through it and it gave it several layers and it changed with its opacity and you know translucence. But let's face it. There's only Alan Titchmarsh and Monty Don who want to have green fingers, so there you go. And you're almost imitating the, the way that a, a leaf is actually made with structures and veins. Again, a piece that will go right across there. Like that. And another piece that will have that will go across like that. Very pleased with that. And then you would leave all of this to dry and then you can bind up the vine that you've made. Or you can do that beforehand. It depends on which way you choose to do this. But there you go. Something just to hold the last piece in place. Now I've got to say that that really does look like a leaf. Again, leave it to dry, uh, and I've found with these, you can see the definition of the, of the straws in the, in the veins. If you leave this to dry on top of something like this, like a, a piece of a black plastic dustbin, a bag, put one on one side, and perhaps uh, something else on the other, just to prop it up so that it dries in a